I get shivers thinking about you. The chill of your breath on my neck. The icy touch of your fingertips. The freeze of your tongue on my thighs. They call you Mr. Death. And I wonder why they fear you. You came to me one night as I choked out my existence in complacency. Hello. Your voice, raspy and low, called out in greeting. I looked up to see you standing outside my window. You smiled at me. I tried sliding the glass panes open, but the old frames were stuck in place. You reached out to assist me. I've heard things about you. I have indeed. You grinned as you stepped inside my room. Mr. Death, I responded. What have you heard about me? Well... You sighed as you sat on my bed. I've heard that there's something quite baffling about you, Cassandra. And... What is that, Mr. Death? Well... You moaned as you reached out your fingers to stroke my jaw from my ear to my chin. I've been alone for quite some time. But I've heard that you want me. I met your gaze in affirmation. Mr. Death? I started, then stopped. You waited. You were quite hard to find. This isn't the first time I've asked for you. I know, Cassandra. You breathed in my ear. And I know what you want from me. But... Why? I waited while you slid your hands from neck to navel. I was patient while your eyes, white and icy as the winter breeze, you drifted on, floated over my body. Mr. Death, I told you. I can't tell you why, but I can't stay away from you. I find you irresistible. Cassandra. You muttered. To be with me, you should know that you cannot receive without me taking in return. Yes, Mr. Death. I figured that's how these things work. You laugh. Well then, what do you have to offer me? Mr. Death, when you leaned your face towards mine, I felt so cold. I thought I was already dead. Consider a lifetime of my service. I assume you must be lonely. You laughed again, harshly this time. Who said I dislike being alone? But when you looked at me, I saw you were starving. Mr. Death, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't you have needs? Not needs, Cassandra. Wants. You held out your hand to me as if suggesting a shape. When I touched you for myself, 
I knew you had one. Well, Mr. Death, what can be arranged? Person. For a person. You grabbed my throat, possessively, encouraging me to listen. If you need me, as I know that you do, I will give you a night. But in return, I need a body back. Anybody? Do I choose? Yes, Cassandra. I'll let you choose. Anybody at all? Just the name? Oh, yes, Cassandra. Just give me a name. And they are mine to devour. I agree to your terms. Now, Mr. Death, every time I ask for you, I offer a name in return. And the moment we connect, I feel your victim die. It's a small price to pay to meet your touch. But it's not enough. They call you Mr. Death, and I wonder why they fear you. They must not know what it's like to have their soul lit on fire and to consume that of another. But now, Mr. Death, I'm tired of our arrangement. I'm tired of you hungering for more. I want you to hunger for me and me alone, Mr. Death. I'm jealous, Mr. Death. I'm tired, Mr. Death. I need you, Mr. Death. So, Mr. Death, today I called you with a special name in mind. Give yourself over. Mr. Death, I offer your name in return. Thank you so much for watching, my darlings. A very special thank you to Nordic Vampire for being the voice of Mr. Death. Wasn't he just lovely? Please subscribe to his channel for more amazing content and tell him CBG sent you. Also follow him on Twitter. I will leave all his information below and on the screen. If you also haven't subscribed to my channel, please do as well. Also like and comment. All information regarding the story will be below as well. Thank you for all of your continued love and support. And don't forget, I'll see you.